Hey guys, Joel back once again with some OCR FSMQ additional mathematics for students uh, who took their GCSE in year 10 and go on A on A star. Um, today we are doing the equation of a straight line and the intersection of lines, so it's quite a big episode today, so apologies if it's a bit of a long one, but obviously uh, just watch what you need to. Uh, learn objective today is to use advanced algebra to state the equation of a line, and later on we'll talk about intersection of lines. So, a straight line has two features, it's gradient, uh, i.e. how steep it is, and an own point, and these uh, define the line really. The red line is y equals x plus 2, and the black line is y equals 3x minus 2. It's not hard to get the names of the lines by looking at the pictures. But can we name a graph without its picture? Yes, we can. Uh, there's a formula to generate the name of a line. All you need is its gradient and a known point. Uh, if you'd like to name a line um, with a gradient M, I don't know why my pen is purple today, but <laughs> it is, and passing through a coordinate AB, then use Y minus B equals M, X minus A. So, as you can see, um, we reverse the sign of the number inside the coordinate and place it there. So if that was a minus A, that would become plus A there. So remember that a bit later on. And that pops up um, throughout the course um, You know when we're talking about uh, tangents and normals uh, to do with differentiation and stuff like that. So you need to learn that formula. So get it ingrained in your brain and uh, practice it. Uh, but let's do an example. What is the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 7 and with a gradient of 2? Well, quote the formula, y minus b equals mx minus a. Put your numbers in. Uh, remember, we swap the sign of uh, what's in the bracket, so it becomes a minus 7 there and a minus 3 there. And we'll put where m in as a 2. Expand your bracket, so you get y minus 7 equals 2x minus 6. Tidy it up, so I like it in a nice format of y equals mx plus c, like that. Uh, 7 joins the, the 6 and becomes a plus 1, and you end up with y equals 2x plus 1. And you can check that by putting your x coordinate back through, uh, so setting your y equal to 7 and putting a 3 in uh, for an x, and you'd get 7 equals 2 times 3 plus 1, which is correct. So, yeah, a nice little check in an exam if you're unsure whether you've done it right. Let's do another one. So what is the equation of a line that passes through 4, one, four minus 1 uh, with a gradient of 2 thirds? So quote your formula, y minus b equals mx minus a. Substitute your numbers in, double negative there, so that's going to become a positive. Because uh, remember we swap the sign uh, from what it is in its... Now that is an awful, awful plus sign, so let's let's get rid of that right now. <laughs> right now. And, um, yeah, so I've went forward a step there. But uh, what I'd do here is I don't like fractions, so I'd times throw by 3 to get rid of it. And I'd get 3y plus 3, because remember that, was, that that's meant to be a plus there, because it's a double negative. And that equals 2x minus 8, because uh, the 3 goes from the bottom, and 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. Then you want to tidy up. 3y equals 2x minus 11. And personally, I would probably want the y on its own, so I would divide both sides by 3 again, but you don't have to. Uh, and I just went straight to the, the check here and put a minus 1 through as a y and a 4 through as uh, x. And you should get the same on both sides. And you do, funnily enough. So it is right. But what happens if we're not given the gradient? Well, a couple of lessons ago, we... Uh, learn about how to work out m uh, if you're given two coordinates. So uh, we'll have to find the gradient if we want to use the formula y minus b equals mx minus a because it doesn't work if you don't have an m. So it's a good job we have a formula for gradient which is uh, back take back over front take front. So that's a blast from the past uh, a couple of lessons ago. So. Hopefully you remember that. Uh, the strategy is clear. Find the gradient using the formula and then use the answer in the other formula. So that end there, once you've worked that out, you can paste that straight into this um, equation here and work out your uh, equation of a line. So let's do an example of that. Was the equation of the line that passes through 
7 13 and 2 3 so get your gradient back take back over front take front so it's going to be 13 minus 3 and 7 minus 2 uh, which cancels down to 10 over 5 which is of course 2 so use your uh, y minus b equals mx minus a put the numbers in you can pick any point because we know the line goes through both these points so pick whichever is easiest for you and put that in i chose this one don't know why because they're probably easier numbers but hey ho um, so it's y minus 13 equals 2x minus 7 expand your bracket so you get y minus 13 equals 2x minus 14 take the 13 over the other side and equals y equals 2x minus 1 and you can check that by putting both coordinates through if you want Oh, and I didn't bother doing that, but uh, if we quickly do it, so we would get uh, uh, 3 equals 2 times 2 uh, minus 1, which is correct, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus 1 is 3, so that works. Next question, uh, what is the equation of the line that passes through 1 minus 2 and 3, 1? So get your gradient, back take back over front take front, careful of the double negative there, that equals 3 over 2. Y minus B equals MX minus A, put in your numbers uh, like that. I would times through by 2 there to get that, uh, to get rid of your fraction on the bottom. And then you want to expand to get that. And take the two minus 2 over the other side to join that and get a nice little equation of 2y equals 3x minus 7 and yet again you could check by putting those coordinates through but uh, that is not the only thing we're doing today that is all for equation of a straight line so if that's all you're watching it for and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed found it and found it helpful so yeah uh, but now we're going to go on to intersection so you may be asked to sketch the lines of 2x plus 3 and y equals x plus 1 and I think there's going to be a loud noise coming up here so uh, be careful so turn your headphones down the wood that's the, the line y equals 2x plus 3 there you go big boom those lines have crossed and caused a massive explosion there that's the line y equals x plus 1 those two lines have crossed paths and it looks like it's at uh, minus 2 minus 1 but uh, we're not in the game for guessing uh, if we're, grades depend on it so it's uh, <clears throat> it's our job to actually find the point of impact or the intersection point without the need of a picture or a sketch. Uh, so there you go. Uh, y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals x plus 1. But if we know that y equals that, then why can't we just paste that y in there and call this uh, a y and set it equal to the x plus 1? like that so yeah uh, just to go through that again if you're told y equals something that means you can copy that y and paste it in for wherever you see another y so we'll end up with 2x plus 3 equals x plus 1 or in layman's terms we'll set them equal to each other but that uh, becomes a problem when you've got y squareds and, and things like that so tidying up, uh, take the 3 over the other side and this x over here, x equals minus 2, but we're not done yet because we need to find uh, the y coordinate as well. So we put that minus 2 th back through any of your equations, I'll probably put that one, but know me, it'll be the other one, yes it is. So minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, plus 3 is in fact minus 1, so y equals a minus 1. And you might want to put that back in a coordinate form just for the exam never see. Uh, so that was the point of impact. It did look like that from the picture, but it's always worth checking the answer with algebra and backing up your, your guesses with evidence. So let's do a couple of examples of that. Find the point of intersection of the lines y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x plus 8. So there we go. Copy and paste with 3x minus 2 in uh, this equation here. And we get 3x minus 2 equals x plus 8. Tidy it up, 2x equals 10, so x must equal 5, but we're not done yet. We need to put that x plus 5 back into the formula to work uh, out the y coordinate. And that's exactly what we do. 3 times uh, 5 is 15, minus 2 is 13, so y equals a 13, and put that in a nice coordinate for the examiner to see. So the point of intersection of those two lines is 5, 13. Now then, this is a little bit harder because we haven't got the y equal anything. So 
we're told uh, to find the point of intersection of the lines x plus 2y equals 8 and 5x equals 1 plus 3y. So I'm told that x definitively equals something. So I may be inclined to just copy and paste that x to where I see that x there. And that is what I do, thankfully, because uh, that is the best thing to do. Copy and paste it in, so you have 5 lots of 8 um, minus 2y equals 1 plus 3y. Expand your bracket. Uh, careful, that's all I can say there. Tidy it up to get 30y equals 39, and that puts a big smile on your face because y equals a 3. Uh, there we go. And then put that 3 back through the formula uh, to find your x coordinate, which is apparently 2. Um, and that makes sense. 8 minus 2 times 3 uh, is 8 minus 6, which is 2. So yeah, and put that in a coordinate to tell the examiner your good new the good news. Um, now then, this is a slightly more difficult example. Uh, we have x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Um, so we can fa uh, factorise that to x minus 6, x plus 2. So we're going to draw this, this graph. Um, there we go. We know the points of intersection of the x-axis are minus 2 and 6. So we'll draw with, with a little cubic uh, like that. And we'll remember the y-intercept is that number there. So we draw a lovely uh, curve like that. And we have the line y equals minus x minus 2 because we need it in the form y equals mx plus c to be able to draw it. So a gradient of minus 1 and a y-intercept of minus 2. So that comes down just about like that. And you can see there are two points of intersection here. So uh, we're going to have to do a little bit more work than usual. So uh, we've sketched the graph now. And we know we're two points of intersection. So uh, we are told that y equals uh, this. So we could um, copy and paste that right there. And that's what we're going to do. Replace that y with an x squared minus 4x minus 12. And set that equal to minus x minus 2. And then we'll tidy that up. Bring everything over to one side to have a, a lovely quadratic to solve. And that, uh, if you're struggling, quadratic formula same answers, but it does actually factorise to x minus 5, x minus 2. So we know where x coordinates are going to be 5 and minus 2. And, but we're not done, well, we're not done yet. So we'll put those uh, x coordinates back through an equation to find out what y coordinates, and apparently that gives minus 7 or 0. So tell the examiner the two points of intersection by putting those in coordinates. So we'd have uh, 5 minus comma minus 7 and minus 2 comma 0. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this uh, lesson. It's a bit of a long one, a lot of content, so you might want to re-watch it and pick up on things or make notes. Um, uh, hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, please leave uh, a like if you did find it helpful or if you just enjoyed listening. Um, any comments uh, or um, questions, I'll answer down in the comments section. Uh, Please give us feedback on whether you find these PowerPoints helpful or if there's any way to improve them. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Best of luck with FSMQ. I'll see you guys next time for the circle. We're starting the circle in the next lesson. So hopefully that'll be a good one. And I'll see you next time.